So in today's video, we're back in Roblox Studio and I'm going to be giving you guys some building tips. Okay, so I have done some building before. I'm not really the best builder out there, but I do know some tricks to get better at building and some things that can just help you improve in general. So the first thing I'm going to be going over is plugins. So in Roblox Studio, there are a couple plugins that you can get. They're just these things that basically you can already do in Studio, but like it just makes it easier to kind of do them. So like, for example, there's ways to upload textures, but there's this plugin i have right here that just like makes it easy to insert them kind of so yeah like most of the stuff i think you can already do in studio but yeah i'm just gonna be going over which ones are probably good for building so the ones i have that are probably best for building are gonna be the first one is gonna be building tools by f3x there's a couple advantages of this plugin the only one i really use it for is for when like you're moving parts because when you move parts like they basically here let me just show it okay so if i were to like rotate a part to like this kind of watch so if i rotate a part like that it's gonna move in this direction but if i still want to move it like kind of like go from this side to this side not this angle then you're basically gonna have to get this because look see if i go to move tools see, now it lets me move it left to right how i want it to that's basically what the like, biggest advantage of that plugin probably is it's probably the thing i use it for the most but yeah that's basically what that can do so i'd recommend building tools by f3x and i'll probably link all the plugins in the description so you can easily get them and then the next plugin i'm gonna go over is geome tools basically so it's like three different kind of plugins all put into one and then basically the one i probably use the most is probably reflect and gap fill i don't really use resize line that much but reflect and gap fill are both really useful because the reflect just basically makes it easy that's how i kind of built this i basically reflected this little thing right here and put it onto this side that's how i used it and then for the gap fill just like kind of like a here let me pull another example so if i were to have two parts like this this kind of like here let me just kind of make a path or something let's say i was doing it like this uh so it could kind of like fill in that corner so it like perfectly so yeah that's basically what that just does and i don't really use the resize line that much so you're probably only going to need these two but then the next plugin i'm gonna go over which is probably one of the best building plugins i don't use it a ton it really this is really best for just building like terrain and stuff like when you want a lot of randomized stuff but it's called brush tool so basically what the brush tool does is when you take something it adds a ton of like randomness to it so like look so let's say we have i don't know we just have anything it's gonna it can rotate it to when, so basically if you just hit activate brush and you just place this like look it's just gonna put a ton of randomness to it that it starts off with these two things you have to add things manually in but like look it's just gonna add a ton of randomness to everything so you can easily just add stuff you know and then if you add more to this then it can just change more it's just you're just gonna have to mess around with the settings really but it just basically makes makes it really easy to add variation into things and there's also two other things there's also the stamp tool and the erase tool but the stamp tool is basically the same as the brush tool you just have to like change around the brush settings if you change around the brush settings you can basically make the stamp tool so there's really no point in the stamp tool but it's just another thing that's part of it so i would say the brush tool is great for making randomness for your maps and great for like you know like low poly terrain borders that's probably what it's good for too okay and then the next plugin i'm going to go over is archimedes so i don't know if i said that right hopefully i did but basically what archimedes is best for is it's best for making like paths like look let me show you okay so look if i let's just say render all 35 so it'll make a perfect circle like that and yeah that's just what it does basically it makes up it can do that and the reason it's best for making paths is because you can just hit render and then like let's say a uh, flip axis then it can render that way you could also change this to like 20 you probably don't want to change this around when you're actually building but it's just something you can do so see now you got a nice it'll just path right here it's pretty randomized you know so it's just great for building paths pretty much that's what it does and let me just delete all these parts now okay all the parts are deleted but yeah basically archimedes is a great plugin for just randomness on paths this is randomness on like certain different things like i don't know just other things and this is randomness for paths you can use this for streets so yeah that's basically what archimedes is for and probably those are like going to be the plugins i use the most there's other plugins i use but not they're not really that much like i use parts of terrain that's not that like i don't use it that much and it's not really that important there's just a couple other plugins you could use but those are gonna be like the plugins i use the most and i think the plugins that are probably really useful for building okay and then the next thing i'm gonna go over is 
like a tip for just building in general okay so when you're doing a build you kind of want to do a block out before you do it so what i mean is you want to make like a kind of like simplified version of what you're going to do so like when i was building this this is kind of what it's designed for oh yeah that's my plugin oh uh, that's my other plugin don't worry about that that's just vfx suite that's a plugin i recently bought but uh, let me just not do that it's because i have this one vfx to make like kind of smoke come out of the like chimneys so yeah this is just basically a cabin i built and what i had before was i'll pull up an image on screen of what it looked like but it was basically just like the windows and the door were way more simplified there was no snow or anything and if you're just questioning the style of this build in general that's just what it's supposed to be it's very supposed to be like very blocky so yeah but before the old style or the one be the block out i had was it was very simplified like the windows were just parked and there was nothing special about them there was no light on them the door was not there i don't even think there was stairs honestly but yeah also the there was no inside like look you can go inside of here the inside was just one part so and yeah that's just basically what a block out is it's basically a more simplified version of what you're gonna make so you can like see what you want to make before you do it and make changes and then you can finally make what the advanced version is gonna look like so this is what the advanced version look like and i had the old version on screen before so yeah i think making block outs are a great thing to do so you can make changes before you go and make all the harder stuff so if you like mess something up now it's like gonna be harder to change it i actually still think i might need to fix this i don't know if i will or not but i'll try to if i can but that's just gonna be my next tip for building and another tip for building i'm gonna say is to like make builds kind of like off real life references so like if you were gonna go for a more realistic cabin you should have you should probably use like a real life reference if you want so yeah you, i just say use real life references because that always works good so you can get especially if you want like a more modern style build i feel like that'll work good so yeah i think real life references will help you out a lot even if you're not building something super realistic like even if you're going for something low poly it could still work like the reference i used for this was not really like it didn't look really like this but i still got some this from what the reference was like it was more of like a i don't know cartoony style reference of what i had versus this is like it's not realistic but it's just like this is different the style from what i was trying to build so i think real life references will help you out a lot but that's going to be pretty much all my tips for building i think also just practice is just going to help you out a lot so yeah and just build for fun mainly but this is going to be the end of my video subscribe to help the channel bye